Hello everyone and welcome back to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. In this video, we will uh, talk about the anatomy of the liver in situ inside the abdominal cavity in the dog. So, and we will talk about the ligaments and the different divisions of the liver. So let's get started. So we open the abdominal cavity through the linea alba and now we can see the liver located cranially behind the diaphragm. So let's talk about the different lobes of the liver. If we move to the right side here, the first part of the liver, which is in contact with the right kidney, which I'm going to, to show you later here, is the caudate process of the caudate uh, uh, lobe of the liver. Here and there we have the right uh, hepatic lobe, which is divided in the dog into two parts. So this is the right lateral hepatic lobe, and this is the right medial hepatic lobe, okay? If we move to this area, just in the middle, somehow we can see this, this uh, uh, lobe here, uh, the quadrate lobe, quadrate lobe of the liver, quadrate lobe, or lupus quadratus. This one here, if we move to the left side here, we can see the left hepatic lobe, which is also divided in the carnivores or in the dog into two parts. The lateral one, the last one here is the left lateral hepatic lobe, and this is the left medial hepatic lobe. The liver is fixed in its place uh, uh, by uh, several ligaments. So the first one we can see here uh, is the coronary ligament, which uh, fix uh, the, 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 the liver to the diaphragm. So it's a, a connective tissue, you know, exactly at the area, adhesion area between the liver to the diaphragm here, we have the coronary ligament of the liver. Uh, left and right, left and right, in this case here, to, from the left lateral um, hepatic lobe, so left lateral hepatic lobe to the to the diaphragm, we can see this ligament here. This is the triangular ligament of the liver, the, sorry, the left triangular ligament, the left triangular ligament, this one here, if you can see it, extends between the lateral, lateral, sorry, the left lateral hepatic lobe to the diaphragm. The left triangular ligament. On the right side, we have another one called the right I hope we can see it. I can see it, but let me just try to show you. Ah, yeah, exactly. Can you see that structure there? This one here? I will remove my hand. This white structure there, this is here the right triangular ligament. It's from its shape, it's, it, it is triangular, triangular ligament, okay? And this one here is the right triangular ligament extends between the right lateral hepatic lobe to the diaphragm. You can see it here. Okay, and we talked, of course, about the, the um, uh, hepatogastric ligament, which uh, forms uh, the uh, lesser omentum, extends between the liver to the stomach. And finally, we talked also about uh, the uh, round ligament of the liver, which starts from here and moves uh, uh, along, uh, follows the falciform ligament uh, to the umbilicus. And we have also the falciform ligament extends uh, between the uh, liver up to the linea alba and finally to the umbilical. This is the ligaments of the liver. Uh, another ligament extends between the caudate process of the caudate loop up to the right kidney. This ligament here is the hepatorenal ligament. Hepatorenal ligament extends between the caudate process to the right kidney or to the capsule of the right kidney. Hepatorenal ligament from the name. Hepato liver, renal, ren or kidney. Hepatorenal ligament. I will cut it also here. OK. 
Okay, so uh, as we agreed, I cut all uh, the ligaments, you know, uh, fixing the liver in its place. We cut also the, um, the hepatic artery, we cut the portal vein, all of these structures to be able to remove the, 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 the liver completely from the abdominal cavity. Um, before we remove it completely, let me... Um, Okay, let me just put it like this again and tell you the different parts of the liver. Again, here on the left side, we have the left hepatic lobe divided into lateral and medial uh, parts. Lateral and medial part. Here we have the quadrate hepatic lobe, quadrate hepatic lobe. On the right side, we have the right hepatic lobe with two parts also divided into medial and lateral parts. And uh, finally, if we move uh, and look at the visceral surface of the uh, liver, we can see these two processes here. We have the caudate process of the caudate lobe, and this is the papillary process of the caudate lobe. If we uh, look at the caudate process of the um, of the caudate lobe, here we can see this impression here, the place where the right kidney was inside. This is the right kidney here. It was exactly in this area here. Uh, you know, for the papillary process, if we just put it like this, for the papillary process as described, uh, the papillary process is located inside the, the lesser omentum. Look how the lesser omentum surrounds and covers the papillary process completely. So this is here the lesser omentum extends between the uh, lesser curvature of the stomach up to the liver. So let's m uh, remove uh, um, again here. We have uh, the gallbladder exactly between the quadrate uh, lobe and uh, the right uh, medial hepatic lobe. This one here, the gallbladder. So let's uh, remove the liver completely here and uh, look. Now we have more space. We can look at the different divisions of the...